All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, I'm here with another edifying lesson. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to go over uh, the scripture. Um, I uh, was exhorting brothers in my camp with this uh, particular scripture. And, uh, you know, the spirit hit me was like, well, you know, you, um, you, you could just do a lesson on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, through the spirit of how about me, I was shy from uh, Apostle Ha on down to the other apostles and the elders and in all the other camps in our great millstone. Uh, the spirit has, has, you know, hit us to start doing three videos a day, you know, and, um. You know, that's um, a good deed. You know, that's a righteous thing, you know, because ultimately our profession is to to um, teach this word, teach this gospel. So for us to do three lessons or three videos a day and uh, edify the elect out there, that's something that we should be more than happy to do. You know, it shouldn't feel like a burden or feel like... Uh, you know, it shouldn't feel like it's something that, uh, you know, you got to do extra. You know, like, oh, I mean, oh, man, you know, I worked all day, man. Now I got to do, try and do three videos and fit that into my day, you know. You know, it's just something that, um, you know, through the spirit, I thought was, um, I thought it was a beautiful thing by the apostles, you know, to put that out there because at the end of the day, uh, the word of the Lord must go out, you know. He says that in uh, Isaiah, the 55th chapter, that the word that comes out of his mouth doesn't go out void, you know. And us being his mouthpiece, it's our job to speak the words of the Lord, you know, and teach his people, all right. And, um, you know, so uh, I said that I was going to do a, a video on this lesson, but... As I was reading back over the scripture again, it's a lot. I said video. I was going to do a listen or uh, in the video on the scripture. It's a lot here, <clears throat> but um, I was just reading back over it, and um, I noticed that um, even how was shy was in the spirit of um, telling the apostle Peter to feed the sheep. Okay, and not only that, he came to him three times. You know, he came to him three times and he told Peter to feed his uh, sheep or feed his lambs. So uh, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to read the scripture and I'm going to let the word speak for itself. And then um, I'm going to uh, continue to edify. So this is uh, the book of uh, John 21, the 14th chapter. All right. It says, it says, uh, this is now the third time that Yahweh Shai showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he saith unto, them, uh, unto him, Yea, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say it unto him, Feed my sheep. You know, and it's, um, you know, I noticed that he that he said to Peter, feed his sheep three times, you know, and and that's, you know, that's, you know, it's in the spirit that Apostle Hart had put that out, you know, in the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq to, um, to, to, to do these videos Three times a day, 
you know. You know, if you can, if it's possible, you know, if it's uh, not above your strength, do three videos a day and um, feed the sheep, what, three times, you know. So this is, uh, you know, definitely a, a edifier for me in the spirit. Uh, it should be, you know, edifying for, you know, all the, you know, Akim, you know, this is something that Yahweh Shah harped on to Peter, you know, to feed the sheep, you know. Um, so it's 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 a beautiful thing. So I have another scripture. Let me see if I can get this this particular one. I uh, know what it says. Um, right. You know, and this is something that um that 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 we should be uh, characterizing as men of the Lord. Okay? This is a, a, a type of characteristic that we should be e e exemplifying as servants of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Alright, so this is 2 Timothy 2 and 24. It says, And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient. Alright, in meekness, Instructing in instructing those that oppose themselves, if the mer, if the Most High peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Okay. Now, of course, the uh, the the main point that I'm hitting here uh, in verse 24 is uh, apt to teach. You know. And being apt to teach means to be ready, you know, be ready to, to uh, speak, you know, the words of the Lord and teach and edify his sheep, you know, be be ready to feed the sheep, you know, because you got different m members of the elect all over the world, all over the planet, you know, waiting in different time zones to hear this word because it may be you know, like, like now I'm doing this, uh, this lesson here at almost nine o'clock at night, but a brother in another time zone, maybe three, four, five hours away, may wake up in the middle of the night and see this video that I'm doing, and um, you know, be edified. You know, so this is something that we have to to do, man. We have to feed the sheep, okay? Right? We have to instruct. All right, instructing those that oppose themselves, meaning the elect, you know, before they're woken up, you know, just like we were, they were in the world. You know, they were being wicked, they're going off, they're not keeping the laws. So we have to instruct those members of the Lord's sheep out there that uh, are not, are not um, in the right spirit. All right. So it says here, it says, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if the Most High peradventure would give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. So our job is to, 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 to put the truth out there so the elect will have something to acknowledge, which is the truth, and be brought into the fold. Okay? So we should be, um, be um, ready to do that. You know, being gentle, being patient, you know, because that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashman was shy, feeding his lambs and feeding his sheep and making sure they get the proper, the proper spiritual nutrients to uh, be built up upon. Okay. Um, so they can do the same thing that we're doing. All right. So another scripture I want to get is, um, you know, to, uh. Help bring home the point, you know. We want to be uh, feeding the sheep. We want to make sure we're instructing them in meekness. You know, being patient. We want to make sure that we're uh, ready to teach. Okay, whether it be two, three, four times a day, you know, um, and making sure that we are, uh, um, you know, doing our best. Okay. So this is uh the book of Jeremiah 3 and 3 and uh 3 and 15. It says, "And I will give you pastors according to mine heart." All right? So this so the Lord is saying here in this prophecy here 
that the Lord is going to give his people pastors, which a pastor is really over a, 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 um, a flock of sheep, you know, like a shepherd. OK, so the Lord is going to give give his people the elect pastors according to his 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 mind, his spirit. And it says this, it says, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. OK, so that's our job to feed the elect, feed the sheep of the Lord with knowledge and understanding and teach them, you know, no matter how many times, you know, basically uh, whenever we have a chance to teach this word, we should take it, you know. But uh, with that, I'm going uh, to end it there. I'm going to give it. Uh, well, I hope you're I hope you're edified. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double Bashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Until the next time, Shalom.